all right what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today i got a pretty short video for you uh, i'll be making a video on how to remove uh the front bumper on my 2012 cadillac ctsv now this process should be relatively the same for all cadillac cts's no matter the trim level from 2008 all the way up until 2013 i believe uh until i went to the gen 3s the process might differ a little bit because uh depending on the trim level if you have the headlight washers or not but yeah this is pretty much relatively the same the grills might be different but as far as getting the bumper off it's this is that same exact process so first things first let's go ahead and pop the hood and dive into it all right now that we got the hood popped uh now we'll start by removing this a uh, little plastic trim tray or bezel whatever you want to call it uh we have these clips right here which all you do is you turn counterclockwise loose them up keep in mind they will not come all the way out because it is a plastic tab but yeah as you can see that one's ready to be pulled straight on out and there we go see that's all there is to it we'll keep the put that aside put that right there for now you also have this uh this type which is where this little trim clip remover comes into place you also have these right here just same process, turn them counterclockwise, and they'll come out as you can see. Set that right there. But yeah, just go along this plastic trim piece all the way across, and you'll take out all these pieces, and then this whole piece should lift it straight on up, lift straight up. So yeah, let me knock those out real quick, and I'll get back with you. All right, as you can tell, I went ahead and got all all of them out. And keep in mind, these are just little plugs. Uh, you can take a flathead or a little plastic trim remover uh, screwdriver thing but yeah you can use a flathead one thing to note on the twist clips though uh, don't do like I did and pull it by the head kind of try to get a panel clip remover or flathead up under it that way you don't pull the centerpiece out luckily I got lucky and didn't pull none out but yeah just a little heads up all right now we got them all out you can also just uh, pull this uh, weather stripping off but I'm not going to do that that's all I just need to get this out of the way. And as you can see, you can pull it off. Just take it nice and easy. There we go. As you can see, it just that weather stripping just pulled off this right here. And just pull it straight on up. There we go. And it'll be the same for this. Now we can just slide that up and out of the way. Now you can pull it off, put it on the ground or whatever, but I'm just gonna set it right there because that's out of the way for me. All right, now we got access to all this. So, uh, same process. It looks like there's gonna be one uh, plastic retaining clip there, plastic retaining clip there, and the same thing on this side too right there. We'll go ahead and pop those off. Don't mess with these, these are rivets for the grill, I believe. Yeah, the rivets for the grill to hold onto this brace right here. So you don't have to worry about those. But let's plas uh, let's pop those four plastic clips off and then we'll go and start on the fender well or tire well. This little mud shield right here. We'll go ahead and have to remove the clips off this and pry it back just a little bit because there's two bolts inside there. There's one close and then there's one a little further down. I believe they're eight or ten millimeters, but yeah, let's get to it. All right, one little quick side note. Uh, <clears throat> if you find yourself in this position where you accidentally pulled the head of the, oh, come on, focus. The head of the clip out, no big deal. They just simply slide, but, bleh, slide back in. Just line it up. Oh, it's kind of hard to do one hand, but as you can see, you align that up with this and you just push it back in. No big deal. Try not to mangle the head or the actual clip itself up too much, but yeah. Now we got these removed, all four of those. Now we will start on the driver's side. I'm going to try to do this without removing the wheel, but it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to remove the wheel. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hop in the car and I'm going to turn the wheel all the way out on the driver's side. Pull those plastic clips out. It looks like we got one right there, one right there. Oh, if I can focus. One right there. I see one hiding right there. That's really all I see. Yeah, and there's one up there. But yeah, we'll pop those out real quick and... Kind of pry it back see if we can get access to this uh and the behind this front bumper to those two nuts so yeah let's do that now 
All right, one quick side note. Uh, after you remove the clips from the inner fender well, you'll also have to come under here and remove a couple clips for the splash shield or splash guard. There's one. Uh, should be one right there. You don't have to remove these two because they're not to that splash. Yeah, they're not even connected to that splash shield. One right there. One right there. And then there was one. As you can see, it connects right there to this. And once you remove those, you can kind of have a little bit more room for, uh, under splash shield. Just be very gentle with it. Don't pull it too hard. Uh, and then in the fender wheel, I also had to remove uh, the clips I showed you plus one right here. Yeah, one right there, one up here, and then one right there. And that gave us enough room. You can also go ahead and remove those if you want to, but after you remove those, you can kind of pry this back a little bit. And once you pry this inner fender well back, it would be a lot easier if I removed the tire. But I'm gonna try to get you in there so you can see the two bolts. They're two 10 millimeter bolts. And there will be, see that one bolt right there? And that one bolt right up top, right there. So that bolt, and then that bolt. Two 10 millimeters, loosen those up. You can go with a, maybe a stubby ratchet or maybe a wrench. But yeah, I'm gonna take those two off and then repeat the same process on the other side. All right, and also while we're under here, we'll go ahead and remove these clips. Uh, you ain't gotta remove these on the front portion. I believe they just hold this lip on. But the ones on the back portion or the end of this uh bumper splash guard ordeal should be one oh, right there one right there one right there and then one right there i don't think we have to oh yeah that one ain't there ain't nothing on that one so we can leave that one and of course on the inner side but yeah all right, so as you can tell, we got uh, the inner fender well pulled back and got them bolts off. Uh, these bracket or plastic brackets will come out. Uh, this is the passenger. Uh, this is the passenger side. So this one will go up in there just like so with that uh, bracket facing inwards. As you can see, it'll be like that sitting inside there. But yeah, uh, just kind of got to pull down on it a little bit. Uh, this one was a lot, the passenger side for me was a lot more stubborn. This did not want to release. You just kind of got to pull down on it. Be gentle and even pull pull right here down as well as your other hand. Like right here. Kind of kind of like pivot it out. But yeah, as you see we got that freed up. Got all the clips out. Now this should just lift off. Keep in mind, we do still have, pull that up a little bit. We will have. Uh, lighting for the fog lights. Oh, there we go. I just kind of fell down. But keep in mind, we'll have the lighting for the fog lights, which will be right here. If you have that option, if you don't, then you don't. You won't have the wiring. And also, we will have this little hose right here for the headlight washer, which should. I don't want to scrape my bumper up too bad. Oh, I can't really see. Okay, yeah, you can simply pull that off. Or you can, even better, you can just disconnect it right here. Just disconnect this hose. Uh, use a, I had to use a little WD-40 or PV blast, as well as like a flathead. Be gentle, because this plastic is known to be brittle over time, get really brittle over time. So yeah, that's why I'll probably disconnect it right here. That'd probably be best. And same thing on the passenger side. And then the headlights, we can just disconnect them. Looks like there's a tab right here that we'll have to probably pry this tab up with a flat head and then pull down. Be careful prying that up with a flat head as you can break the tab off. But yeah, or we can just simply probably pull the bulb out. Yep, look at there. Let's pull the bulb out. Set it in a nice, somewhat dry spot. And yeah, let me go ahead and disconnect those washer fluid hoses and I'll pull the other bulb out of this side fog light. But all right. All right, thank you for watching. Please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, putting the bumper back on is pretty much the reverse process. So, yeah.